How's it going guys, Nate here, and Bethesda games have always been really good at including references, illusions, and just great easter eggs throughout the environments that they create. And the Far Harbor DLC for Fallout 4 is by no means an exception to that wonderful rule. Here are three different easter eggs that I've noticed throughout my travels in the Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC. Coming in at number one, we have what is undoubtedly the most surprising enemy I have dealt with in the Far Harbor DLC thus far. If you head over to the location I'm at on the map, you're going to encounter an odd little broken off bridge. And there you'll find an abandoned truck, or so you think. Instead, there is a gigantic hermit crab living inside of it, and it makes for a pretty interesting boss battle in a sense, so to speak. It has a lot of damage to deal, and it takes a lot more. It also spouts out these eggs that create miniature hermit crabs that come and attack you. Altogether, it's a pretty interesting thing. Now, the loot on it isn't going to be that great, depending on what difficulty you're playing on, but it's just a fun little experience that I noticed when I was walking by this bridge. Number two is definitely one of the more interesting things I've seen in the Far Harbor map thus far, because I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. If you head to the location that I'm displaying on my Pip-Boy right now and go underwater, you're going to see what appears to be a silhouette for power armor, but it's blocked behind a barrier. Now, after I turned up the saturation and hue and the contrast to their maximum extent, I was able to make this picture a bit better looking and it's a lot more distinguishable, the shape that the power armor's in. And it is quite evidently power armor, and it also appears to be that there's a vertebrate crash right next to you. But as mentioned before, there's a barrier blocking you off from even accessing this suit of power armor. So I'm not exactly sure what this is. Some have taken to suggest that this is possibly a leftover mistake by the developers, but that doesn't seem likely because I'd imagine by now there would be a hotfix for this or there'd be something done about it. It seems as though this was an intentional, and it also appears to be referencing one of the newer, or the uh, one of the first sets of power armor you get. I believe it's the T-51, but I'm not exactly sure what this is supposed to be. Perhaps it could be a silhouette for an upcoming set of power armor that we haven't seen just yet. I personally would love it if this was some good old Enclave power armor, but either way, I thought this was a pretty interesting thing that I noticed, and uh, I, I hope it alludes to something interesting in the future. And lastly, to top off our list, one of the easter eggs that actually references the mainland. Now, unfortunately, I cannot take credit for this. I actually found this one on Reddit. But either way, this was one of the more, uh, one of the more amusing ones. So, in case you don't remember, back on the mainland, there's a random encounter you can have with a guy named Parker. And he would sell you a thing called a charge card, as you can see in this clip right here. Perhaps right now, and I give you this charge card. Accept it at any store in the Commonwealth, up to 100 caps. The 10 extra caps is my service fee. So what do you say? Want one? Sounds good. I'll take one. Awesome. I'll take your money, and you get the charge card. Great doing business with you. Tell your friends, Parker Quinn, Sam Connor, every day. Retard. Now, after this little exchange goes down, it becomes fairly evident that this guy is scamming you, leading you to do some pretty unspeakable things to his body, if you're like me. But that's neither here nor there. You can go up to any vendor in the Commonwealth, and they're basically going to tell you, sorry, bro, card's not valid. However, Far Harbor might just be the exception to this. After you go to Far Harbor, you can actually speak to a vendor who, surprisingly enough, accepts the charge card at his store. Friends, I'm your man. Hey, this is a long shot, but, um, do you accept this charge card? Huh? Oh yeah, that thing. Sure do. It'll be easier if I just cash you out. Looks like, what, 100 caps? Here you go. Anyway guys, those are just three easter eggs on the Far Harbor map thus far that I thought were the most interesting. Now, I'm sure there's more to be discovered on this map. As I said before, this is still a very fresh DLC. It's only been out for about four days, so there is a lot more exploring that needs done. Hopefully, we'll uncover more of these things, and hopefully, they'll even be a bit better. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like if you liked, dislike if you disliked, and I hope to see you all in my next video. Peace out, everybody.